It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... He, too, is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Hmm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes, and don't try nothing, neither. Mm. All right. Take it. Thing's no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh. I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well, sod the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. You're tarnished too, ain't you? Can you see it, then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. met someone with a taste for brawn or can trust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. The thug should be resting at an please. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is 
precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Brave Tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most Tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary Tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. a long while. It's me, Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> Great, there's a surviving iron eye. <laughs> Cheers for that. a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table home. What was your impression? Aha, your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted, truly. Naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe 
But when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you, something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Be sure to try. There's no but tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. So pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength. Vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Hmm, yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do.
Ah, my lambkin. You've completed your final trial. And with this, you are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. Never forget that feeling of agony, for it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Oh, another thing. You should have this. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. 